Hello, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to sh be showing you quasi connectivity. So here is quasi connectivity right now. It's a diff it's a type of redstone circuitry. So I'm going to show you how it works exactly. So how it works is it's powering a piston or a other ob a different a different redstone component that works with this. So you can use droppers, dispensers, and also you can use redstone lamps, but they work a little bit differently. I'm going to get on to that in a minute. So this is quality connectivity right here. So it's powering powering stuff through items. So like this piston is being powered through well this piston here has been powered through that. So it is kind of confusing and it's a bit weird but it's quite useful and it's also kind of annoying at the same time. So I use this now and then but so how it works is it's just powering it's powering through this into here. It won't work like this. You have to have like a piston or a dropper. I don't even know if it works with a dropper. Normally it works just with pistons. So I intend to use this for a piston extender. So I also use it for the double piston door like this. As you can see, it's just been powered from the top here. It's really nice and compact. It really doesn't use too much redstone up either. And it's literally just a simple 2x2 two two piston door. Even though you might want to have a button instead if you want to have it on both sides. And here is a Jeb door. This uses the same sort of mechanics. So this is how it turns on. So all that's happening is this turns it off. It will turn all those pistons off. It's quite a lot of explaining in a way. So, as this gets turned on, it will move these, which will move this forward, and it will move this into this area, which then gets powered by these two up here, which moves that out. When I turn it off, it turns this off first, so it will close that, and then bring, and then it will turn this off a little bit after this repeaters, once it's gone through the repeater, and it will bring this back, and it works really well for all timings even though you have to have this sort of timing under a repeater. It's a simple jeb door, and also, one of my favourites is the T-flip-flop. So here is a T-flip-flop right here that uses quasi-connectivity. As you can see, there's an item in here, when I press it, it will exit out of this into here. Now, how the quasi-connectivity part works is when I press this button, it will power this and then go down into here. So when I press this, that will turn on and it will, it will drop the item into here. It's a really nice setup. So now I'll show you some different types of sort of ide ideology for this. So this is this kind of looks a bit weird. It looks like a glitch in a way. This kind of looks a bit odd why the piston is actually turning on, but I think it's quite cool. So this is just basic connectivity. So if I put a block here, it still works. So imagine there's like an imaginary block, so it could be any block you want whatsoever. Just pretend there's an imaginary block here, now you can break that. And this is powered, so that's what quasi connectivity is. So it's being powered, it goes down here and then across here. Now it only goes downwards, remember that. It only goes downwards. It, it can, it, it won't really go across or, or up either. It will just go down. And what's really nice about this is you can put redstone on top of here. Even though I'm not too sure, I don't think... Yeah, you can put a piston up here too, which is really nice. So it won't power this redstone, which is really good. You can also do this as well, with a repeater. And redstone dust too, if you want. Now, here is another sort of setup. Now this is a bit different, because with this one you actually have to update it, so you have to use have a block updater, which I've got right here, I'll show you this in a minute. So if I press this, it doesn't turn on. So if I keep it on, put a block here, it will update these pistons. So you could have these on and then get rid of all the stuff around it and have like a bunch of pistons that are being powered, but it doesn't look like, it's like they're not being powered by anything. It's quite cool. But this is pa this works by having a soft powering, so having redstone. As redstone isn't like a repeater and has a repeater has a sort of hard powering, this only has a soft powering. So the reason why this works is because 
you these blocks aren't really updated because this is a soft powering. If it was a hard powering, you'd get the block. You'd, the pistons will move. So as it's a, this is a so soft powering, you need you need to update it. So if you think about it, so when I do this, as soon as I put a block here, it updates this one, that, which then updates this one as this moves in front of it, which is quite nice. And then I put another one here. So this is a, another setup that you can have. This just uses a observer clock. Very nice. And this is just to update it. So you can see it works. So how it works is it's just, all that's happening is, so you have it normally soft powering. And then you, to update it, you've got the observer clock and that will be stopping the item from traveling out. Even though there is nowhere to travel out, it will still update this. It's quite a nice design. It's used for updating and stuff like that. I, I very much like it. So this is quasi connectivity. If you're wondering about the redstone lamps, I'll just get out a redstone lamp right now and I'll get a button. Here's a button. Now if, I get, if I put the redstone lamps like this, so it works similarly, so if I press this, it, it powers downwards into this and it also powers upwards too. So this is a bit different but it won't be able to power in the corner there. But it will be, we'll be able to power that, like that. Even though it's pretty normal anyway. You can do that anyway. Even though you can't power this as redstone lamps are on their own with this sort of stuff. It's so like the droppers. So if I have like a dropper and a sticky piston. So if I put a dropper here, sticky piston. Actually, I should have had this like that. I forgot to block. As you can see, that doesn't work, but if I replace it with a piston, it works perfectly. If I just have a bunch of droppers, both of them will go off. And I'm not too sure if this works similarly. No, it doesn't. So this sort of connectivity works a bit differently to pistons, I would guess anyway. I broke a block here. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it really useful, and I hope it gave you a nice insight into what quasi-connectivity is. As you've probably heard, like, different YouTubers such as Mumbo Jumbo and other Redstone YouTubers use the phrase in their different builds and other contraptions. So I hope this kind of helps, in a way. I've only gone through the basics, there are a few more bits that I could go through, but I really just wanted to cover some of the basics, because it's, it's quite a large topic in a way. And I just wanted to make a nice and easy, understandable video. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.